Simone here. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a braided wig. I never thought I'd see the day where I'm actually trying out a box braided wig. Like I've seen people wear it and they've killed it. Today, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna have some braids on top of my braids, okay? And that's one of the reasons why I braided my hair. You guys know I've been trying my hardest not to braid my hair whatsoever because I hate it. I hate my hair being cornered underneath my wigs. I hate waking up like this. I just don't like it. Because I have this braided wig, underneath needs to be flat as hell, okay? So you need a good foundation in order for this to look realistic or it will look like Shanene with the braided wig, <laughs> okay? <laughs> My audio might go in and out because I am moving my camera, my phone around. So I wanna show you guys the wig up close. There are some things that I'm kind of confused about, but I'm not sure why they sew the braids down to the wig cap, I guess to make it look natural and lay flat. But to me, it's a little odd that it's, it's, it's sewn down. So I'm actually gonna go in and cut all these stitches out. Hopefully that does not do damage to the wig, but I just think this is so, it's just, it's just weird. They're all sewn down to the wig. When you look inside the wig, you have the lace and then you have the wig cap and then you have the headband, right? You get to this part, there is no lace, so there will be no scalpage back here, which is fine if you're not trying to do extravagant hairstyles with your box braids. When you get to the front, you can see this is how the front looks with my hand underneath. It looks nice and realistic. The knots are not bleached, but that's okay. I don't think you really need to bleach your knots with this because there is so much space in between the parts that it looks realistic enough. Once you're off the lace and you get back here, the roots of the braid changes. So it goes from looking really realistic to now just looking like a wig that got braided. Those are a few of the inconsistencies that instantly stand out to me and I'm just like, huh? It's just weird to me a little bit, but I'm just gonna cut it and see what happens. I'm gonna just start off with cutting like one or two and then we'll go from there. I'm not gonna lie, I've never really been like so here for it. Um, but I have seen some people pull it off really well and it looks really good, but I've never really been a fan of it to be honest. I just like my braids to either be real or no braids, you know? Heads up, if you are a beginner when it comes to wigs, if you don't like to do much to your wigs, if you just don't, care to have to hot comb flat iron blah 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 then this is definitely the wig for you you're gonna have to do spray or gel whether you like it or not or glue because <laughs> it has to stay in your head typically most people would do this wig with a stocking cap underneath so i wanted to show you guys how it would look if you wanted to put a stocking cap underneath but since i was kind of gearing it towards beginners i was like i'm not gonna even do the ball cap method or anything like that i'm gonna do another alternative which i will show you towards the end but i like how it makes the wig look bright already but girl i got an easier way for y'all so don't even stress about this ball cap so i took it off and decided let's just do a basic install and then go from there so they already gave you pre baby hairs as you can see which makes life 10 times well honestly they didn't have a choice <laughs> because the wig is braided so technically you didn't have a choice if you don't like baby hairs you can cut it off but it's not gonna look natural girl so just make sure you keep a little bit and trim them short so i'm gonna be doing my typical lace wig install got to be glue holding spray with my blow dryer and just making sure everything is nice and secured You're gonna to need to cut the lace by the top of the air so it can fit comfortably, don't worry. You will not be cutting off a braid if you are worrying about that. It will look just natural, but you have to cut that part so it can look even more natural. And remember, don't cut too high up because girl, you're always gonna be too little and you're gonna see your little edges.
Use an edge control brush or a small brush or a brush period and just comb the hairs forward. You're going to want to use mousse. You can use setting foam, but I just use mousse because I know the hair will stay directly in place. And you see me just going through the process of creating the baby hairs, hold and scooping and cutting the hair short because the hairs were very long. But they do that for a reason so that you guys have an option whether you want long baby hairs or short. Now, to make it look less like a wig, I would just say, girl, make your wig, cut the baby hairs short so that it looks natural. You're gonna wanna tie it down with this uh, paper thingy and keep it on for about 20 to 30 minutes if you can and then cut it off. And girl, you got some edges. It looks so good, I'm not gonna lie. The only issue I was just having was it still wasn't looking realistic enough for me. So that's when I had to go ahead and do my other option. But if you like it this way, keep it this way. If you don't, then keep it moving. It was really annoying me that the back was puffy of the wig. It was driving me nuts. So if we pull it down, it looks flat. But once you release it, it gets puffy again. So that part was just driving me freaking wild. Next, I have my concealer. I would say use foundation. I don't even know why I use concealer because the concealer obviously is lighter. Use foundation, your, your skin tone. Not a lighter one, not a darker one. The same one you use for your face so that it blends in really nice and has a nice yellow tint. So don't use a red of a foundation with a red undertone. Make sure it has a yellow undertone. And then use your fingers to dry out the product. You don't want it to look so ridiculous that in person you look like, wow, you colored your scalp. So use your fingers to just really dry it out a little bit, douse out, take out some of the product. And your brush shouldn't even have a lot of product in the first place. But if you do, just really use your fingers to wipe it out. Okay, next, now I was like, okay, let's see where we could go with this. Let's do some styles and see how it looks. I'm not gonna lie, the, the puffiness was driving me nuts, guys. It was driving me nuts. Like, you can see it gives me a little brain-looking head, but when you put it flat, it looks so good. So, that's probably why it was sewn down, but then I felt like it just would have looked awkward with it sewn down from the back. So, um, if you can, ways to get around that is how you style it. Don't tell me last night. like they kind of skipped out on a few important steps that would have made this wig look a hundred percent amazing however if you're not picky about the puffiness right here if you're not super picky about it then go ahead go for it it's a nice change it's a nice difference um people did believe that it wasn't actual i did actually braid my hair um when i posted on instagram some people did believe that it was actually braided it's kind of cool to have braids in without having braids in i mean it's not a bad idea nice job best hair bye and i'll see you guys in my next video bye